Okay, folks, let's jump right back here on the set. Monica Crowley, she knows a thing or two about debt. Former Assistant Secretary of the Treasury and host of the Monica Crowley podcast. I finally got on that. And DeRoy Murdoch, Senior Fellow, London Center for Policy Research, Fox News contributor. All right, kids, separate subject. I'll begin with you, Monica. You're not going to believe this. Breaking news. They discovered a second batch of top secret classified documents locked up by Joe Biden when he was not president. Yes. What do you I, make of that? I can this totally believe it. Yes, I can totally believe it. How many classified documents are floating around out there at how many other locations? We have no idea. And of course, we're only hearing about this now because the midterm elections have passed. Oh. Biden aides in the White House knew quite well weeks before the November elections that these classified documents were at an unsecured location. That's number one. Number two, after what they did to President Trump, with the FBI raid at Mar-a-Lago throwing his whole life into chaos, plastering headlines from here to, to across the world that Donald Trump was abusing his power, had absconded with classified documents. Was a terrible person. The, uh, the appointment of a special counsel because <laughs> right. Merrick Garland right. can't, there's all kinds of conflicts of interest. After what they did to Donald Trump, when he was the president of the United States with the authority, unilateral authority, to declassify documents, where Joe Biden was only vice president and did not have that authority. This is a complete outrage. We're going to hear more and more about these classified documents floating out there. And the question is, who had access to them? And what are those documents? Are they with regard to the Biden corruption with regard to Ukraine and China? That's what about the Iran nuclear deal? There'll be more who batches. Uh, DeRoy, politically, um, I think that this makes it virtually impossible that they go after Trump for this. But legally... I think, in a sense, to Monica's point, Biden was not president. He did not have the authority to declassify. Mr. Trump did. And finally, I just find this, how ironic, all of a sudden we're discovering this. And what do you make of it, Deroy Murdoch? Yeah, this is a very key point. Whether you like it or not, the president of the United States has the full authority to say, I hereby declassify these documents, period. You may hate that law, in which case, get a different law passed. Uh, the vice president of the United States has as much right to declassify documents as the three of us. In other words, zero. So I think Trump can say, look, I declassify these documents. I'm allowed to have them. The vice president, whether it be Biden or Al Gore or whoever else, never has that authority. How can they bust Trump now with this stuff? Just that narrow The only, the only way they can do it is... How could they do the that? The only way they can do that is to indict Trump in the same day indict Biden. And if they don't do that, that absolutely proves to everybody in this country we have a two-track system oh. of justice and uh, and double standards and everything yep. else. And, and the powers that be in Washington really don't care because it's not about hypocrisy, it's about hierarchy. It's about the people in power, it's about the globalists, it's about the elite ruling class who just abuse power and because they've got the propaganda press in their back pocket, they can literally get away with anything. Do you, th do you expect case, Garland to appoint a special counsel on Biden? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. The political pressure on him to do so is going to be huge. That's right. Now, there is one more conspiracy step, which is, to DeRoy's point, if they go after Donald Trump on this, they're going to have to go after Joe Biden, or otherwise they're gonna, there's going to be hell to pay. Or Hillary. And maybe this is the lever to get rid of Joe Biden oh. for 2024. Oh. How do you like oh. that? Like, this is the banana peel. They'll use to slide him out of there. Deroy Murdoch, in seven seconds or less, I know you're a cordon bleu chef. You <laughs> will be allowed to use a gas-powered stove. They backed off. Well, I'm glad that happened. You know, I, I support a woman's right to choose whether or not to use a gas stove to cook <laughs> her dinner. And I'm, I'm pro-choice on this. I wish the pro-choice Democrats would support a woman's right Monica, to do that. Uh, and men, too. And men, men too. Men and men, too. I, I, know, I know you're a great cook, and, and, you, and sometimes, <laughs> you, sometimes you use DoorDash. <laughs> to heat up your pizza in Long Island. But it is interesting they back. But the na I wanted to talk about the nanny state. They, they're still a terrible nanny yes. state. Well, Larry, 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 they'll be back. You're they'll be very back. kind, but you do lie because the only thing that I'm <laughs> able to make is like boiling water for tea. That's that's about it. And now if they're going to take away my gas stove, I can't even do Not that. Not a chance. I, but it was I a, can make Campbell's soup. It was a high grade <laughs> version of tea. Monica <laughs> Crowley and Roy Murdoch. I tell you, this, docu this uh, Biden doc stuff is very interesting.